back. Now, mixing COVID-19 vaccines appears to boost immune responses, and this is according to new research. Most countries have adopted this strategy, which is as yet uh, unproven, but it seems to help with vaccine shortages and side effects. So for more on this, we're now joined by vaccinologist Dr. Benjamin Kajina. Thank you for your time, Doc, and good morning to you. Personally, I am, this is all new to me, so I'm learning as I'm speaking to you. So are we really saying this new research suggests that Mixing two vaccines, different vaccines at that, might prove to be effective. Good morning to you and to your viewers. Uh, yes, that is what preliminary research findings are showing, that um, it's not only good to do it, but you end up generating much more uh, immune responses, which we know at present is very good um, in predicting how well uh, people are protected from COVID once they get vaccinated with these COVID-19 vaccines. Doc, I know it might be a bit of a jargon for you know some of our viewers, but please just uh, give a summary of what happens within your immune system and your body um, should those two vaccines be uh, mixed. I know, for example, most countries are clearly starting to mix you know, AstraZeneca and Pfizer. How does it then boost the immune system? What happens inside the body? So, so that, that's a good question. Uh, so um, it's first important to highlight that uh, those these early studies, what they are showing is that the order at which you actually give, you start vaccination matters. So you, you the, the vaccines that have been tested so far and data has been released is uh, you start with uh, AstraZeneca and then you boost with a Pfizer vaccine. So specifically with AstraZeneca, the, the, the vaccine uses uh, a viral vector as a shuttle to, to take a specific gene or message uh, to the cell so that once your body cells, immune cells, sees this message, they can make copies of um, protein, which uh, we know is important to tell your body that it's been infected, in, in inverted commas, by covid uh, causing virus. So what happens if you bring another AstraZeneca vaccine as a second dose, the body mount a response not only to the protein that is encoded in this uh, shuttle or virus, it, it's adenovirus, but also to the virus itself, meaning that uh, your body has uh, developed an immune response um, to the protein and to the virus. So when you come with the same vaccine, it is highly likely that the body will neutralize the vector that is carrying the message and therefore blunting the second response that you get from uh, the AstraZeneca vaccine. But now if you start with AstraZeneca vaccine and then you bring Pfizer, then you take away that potential for the body to neutralize the shuttle that is carrying the message, mm. uh, which we need the body to react to. Uh, I hope that clarifies uh, to you and to your audience. I mean, it is a bit of a jargon, Doc, but I mean, uh, the sense we're getting there is that essentially it seems, you know, the, the two different vaccines uh, seem to be a lot more effective in boosting, you know, your immune system. But with that being said, any side effects whatsoever then you would like to at least warn about? Yes, so I think a very big uh, disclaimer to, to mention here is that so far these studies that have shown that the numbers are not big. So additional studies are being planned to actually come up with uh, much more um, sufficient information to guide policymakers in terms of making uh, decisions on mixing and matching. So some of the studies have shown, for example, uh, there is more safety signals uh, or more adverse reaction uh, through mixing and matching. And also this might also depend on the duration between the first dose and the, the first and the second uh, vaccination. So they are also trying to see whether they can expand the dosing schedule. But uh, regardless, I think these safety signals, although they are more in terms of frequencies, they are not as severe that they, you know, make um, 
us to worry about safety of these vaccines. Right. So the bottom line is they are safe and they're more immunogenic, meaning that the, the protection is likely to be better. All right, Doc, we leave a conversation there. And thank you for this clarity. Vaccinologist Dr. Benjamin Kagina joining us on the line.